All right, so this is a series where I'm going to talk about web hosting and introduce you to how to do web hosting. Uh, web hosting is for anybody who wants to have their own website, be it a personal website, a blog, or a business online. So you can use any web hosting company. I'm going to be using iPage for these uh, video tutorials. Uh, iPage is a shared hosting company. That means there is several people using the uh, servers to host their websites on. Uh, you notice this is a pretty low price, so uh, it's well within my price range. And uh, I've already logged into my iPage system. As I said, you can use any web hosting uh, company out there that you want, but this tutorial set is going to cover uh, the iPage controls and their control panel. Uh, so I've logged into iPage and you can see here this is called the VDEC control panel system that iPage uses. Uh, there are several systems out there. Uh, cPanel, VDEC just happens to be a different control panel. Control panel lets me manage my web hosting. So you can see here that there are uh, navigations up here. If you know exactly where you're going to go, you can use these navigation bars to easily open up the different functions. If you're not familiar with where exactly you want to go, you may want to use the icons. And so you can see here that there are several different icons probably a lot more than you thought there might be. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the Vita control panel system with iPage. Uh, you'll see this top section here. This allows me to manage my website. Uh, you'll notice that there are a large number of icons here. Uh, not quite sure where to get started. That's okay. I'm going to go over that. Uh, for the most part, you don't need the majority of these. Uh, the majority of these icons are for the more experienced user. Uh, once we uh, get started, I'll be doing a video tutorial for each of these areas. Uh, the file manager, this is where your web files are actually going to be. So if you have somebody that already built a website for you, this is where they're going to end up. Uh, the MySQL database system. So there's a lot of different applications out there. For example, WordPress is a very popular one that allows you to do blogging. Um, Zen Photo for Photo Gallery, for example. Uh, use, these are applications that use databases. And I will be doing a video on how to create a database and install those sort of applications. Um, Shop Site Starter. This is iPages template builder to create a shopping cart system in case you have an e-commerce store or you're selling online. So what happens is uh, many web hosting companies understand that not everybody knows how to build a website, not everybody knows a lot of code, so they install these web builders for you to use. Uh, Shop Site Starter is specific to e-commerce. I'll go over a couple of others. Um, I'll hit this one shortly, but let's move on to Site Backup and Restore. So Site Backup and Restore is something additional that I paid for with iPage. If your web hosting company offers a similar feature, highly suggest that you get it. What this does is this allows me to do automated backups of my site so I don't have to worry about if something happens to it, do I have a backup? All right. and. Uh, We'll get into that. Let me go ahead and go back just a second. There we go. And I'll do a video on that. Um, video Visitor statistics. So visitor statistics is uh, an awesome way to view your stats. However, uh, you have to wait until you get some stats. And we don't have a website yet, so this will be one of the last tutorials I do. Uh, website Creator by CM for All. This is one of iPage's web builders that they offer. It's very template-based, very uh, 
wizard walkthrough and I'll be doing a video on that one. Uh, the Weebly drag and drop system. This is another web builder. iPage offers a lot of different web builders that you can use. Uh, not everybody likes the same web builder so they offer several different kinds. I'll be going over that. Uh, now WordPress and simple scripts. Uh, simple scripts is simply an area where they have uh, many different applications that you can install, WordPress being one of them. I'm not going to use the applications that are offered here by iPage. I'm going to actually show you how to go to WordPress.org and do a full install so that uh, you're not tied to anything within WordPress itself. I'm sorry, within iPage itself and you can take your site and move it to another hosting company if you wish to. And so I'll show you how to do that in another video. Uh, GoMobi Site Builder. This is a great additional feature that iPage offers and we'll go through this. Uh, GoMobi Site Builder basically builds you a mobile version of your website and so it, it's a really awesome feature. Um, if we go down, we've got our email control, and I'll go over email in a separate video. Uh, we've got mail central and spam filters, and I'll talk about those. Um, the domain section. Uh, most of you probably don't know what a domain is, and so I'm going to tell you why a domain is important and how to manage your domain. Uh, marketing services, these are additional features if you want to market your website, if you want to, for example, advertise on Facebook or Yahoo or Google, you know, they offer you some free additional credits that you can use with these companies. Uh, account information, this is where I'm able to do things like renewing my account. Uh, Billing Central allows me to see what I've paid for in the past. It allows me to purchase or see what my future purchases are. So if I have my hosting renewing every year, it'll tell me when my hosting is coming up, how much they're going to charge me, and I can print receipts from here. Uh, I can change my email address on file with iPage. I can change my password here. I can set a security question. Always set a security question. You don't want people going into your hosting account and gaining access and messing up your website. Security questions are important. Um, and I can update my credit card information to ensure that my account uh, continues to get paid if I have any updates to my credit card. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of the features here that you need to worry about if you are just getting started and you just need to use the basics. Uh, many of these features here are for the more advanced user and I will do some videos on some of these more advanced features such as HT Access Editor, uh, but I'm going to start out with the basics and Hope to see you there.